There were big revelations today for the potential Lucid Motors and Churchill Capital CCIV merger. We saw the governor of the Saudi Arabian Public Investment Fund, Yasir Al Ramayan, interviewed on CNBC in the morning. Also, the speaker list and agenda for the Saudi Arabian annual Future Investment Initiative Conference has been published. So what does this all mean? We'll be explaining it all for you in this video. So let's get started. Hello everyone, this is Mark with MC Stocks. Remember to subscribe and hit the like button for more videos like this one. And as always, remember to do your own due diligence when investing and seek a financial advisor for professional advice. So the potential Lucid and CCIV merger has clearly been one of the hottest topics on the market. We can see just from the Google Trends search data that interest in the topic has grown massively over just the past few weeks. So where are we with this merger? There has been no official confirmation from either company that there will be a merger between the two. However, we do have strong evidence backing it up. Let's do a quick recap. Andrew Liveris, the chairman of the board of directors for Lucid, is also an operating partner at CCIV. The Saudi Arabian Public Investment Fund has invested $1 billion into Lucid and has completed prior deals with Churchill Capital. Lastly, Churchill Capital CEO Michael Klein has worked directly with both Andrew Liveris and the Public Investment Fund. Today, we have some additional news to share with you that can help you make a better assessment about the whole situation for yourselves. First up, we have the governor for the Public Investment Fund, Yasir Al Ramayan, interviewed on the CNBC Squawk on the Street morning show. This interview was rescheduled from the original Monday morning airtime for unknown reasons. But today, we have a key insight directly regarding the potential CCIV and Lucid merger. He first started the interview explaining how the Public Investment Fund will reach $1 trillion in assets under management by 2025. He touched on different investment strategies including investments in the U.S. as well as in other countries. Then the host, David Faber, asked the question on everyone's mind. Where do things stand with Lucid Motors? Yasir said at this point, it is time for Lucid Motors to consider the next steps. This means either finding a private placement or coming public via IPO or SPAC. He also said that Lucid Motors board is currently discussing the best options to take those next steps, and he believes the board should have a conclusion soon. Here's the actual clip of him saying exactly that. Of course, the next level of such company is to go either for private um, placement or to go to the market through an IPO or a SPAC. So uh, the company now, through its uh, board, they're uh, evaluating different uh, alternatives, and hopefully we will hear from them soon on the best alternative that they, uh, uh, they feel like. Is there one uh, as the large sh the shareholder that you favor over others? Uh, I, will, I will have to hear the board, uh, uh, and we have some representatives uh, in the board. I have to hear from them. I don't think uh, they've uh, come to a conclusion yet. So hopefully we will hear from them uh, soon, and uh, it will be announced. So what does this exactly mean for the Lucid and CCIV theory? Yasir clearly did not give a confirmation saying that they will merge, but is leaving it up to the board to come up with a conclusion and notes that they should have a conclusion soon. This alone is big news. One, because it is not a denial of a merger. Two, we know Andrew Liveris is on the board with connections to CCIV. And three, we have information that we will hear a decision soon. This information could lead us to conclude that Lucid Motors and Churchill Capital are just waiting for the right time to announce the deal, given the plans to build a factory in Saudi Arabia. And based on Yasir's words, we should hear a conclusion soon. Next, let's take a look at the Future Investment Initiative Conference. This conference is Saudi Arabia's annual tech and innovation conference, where major projects and investment announcements are presented. Today, the conference published their speaker list and agenda for the 27th and 28th. And just as we had speculated in our previous videos, Andrew Liveris is one of the speakers at the conference. We can see here on the site's program page that Andrew Liveris is listed as a speaker with the title Special Advisor to the Public Investment Fund. Now check out the agenda that was posted. We can see that Andrew is speaking on the 27th from 5.50 to 6.10 KSA time on the topic, The New CEO Playbook, How Are Leaders Reinventing Work for the Post-COVID World? 
Translating KSA time to U.S. Eastern time would mean that we could hear Andrew's talk between 9 and 10 a.m. Eastern. Andrew may or may not bring up Lucid Motors in this talk, but that is not entirely the reason why this is important news. Of course, if he confirms a Lucid CCIV merger in his speech, that would be fantastic news for the stock. But the fact that he is attending the conference is big news. Assuming that the conference is not virtual and Andrew will physically be there, we can almost be certain that there will be discussions between Andrew and the Public Investment Fund regarding the Saudi Arabian factory and going public through CCIV. We should also note that we have seen Churchill Capital CEO Michael Klein at this conference in previous years, so we should not be surprised to see him again this year, and if he is there, a merger discussion will most likely occur. We will not be able to tell from now if a merger announcement will happen during the event, but we can expect the talks to occur. If they end up not making the announcement during the conference, and they can reach a conclusion afterwards, even through the weekend, we may be able to expect confirmation as early as next week. Holding your positions through this event and adding to it, especially during dips, will most likely be the best move if you anticipate a merger to follow through. If you have not yet bought shares of CCIV and are looking for a brokerage, be sure to use our referral links in the description below. M1 Finance is doing great offer currently where you could get a free $30 using our referral link. So use the link below, earn an easy $30 and don't miss out. Good luck everyone with your holdings and stay tuned on our channel for any news regarding this Lucid CCIV merger. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when we release our next video. Please like and share for more videos similar to this one and comment below with any questions that you may have so that we can address them in future videos. Thanks.